What up, what's up, what's up? Of course, it's your boy Richie Vetch at Consumer Fine Support. You know we review appliances. Today we're gonna to focus on the LG French door refrigerator with the instant view. You can knock on the door, of course, and it lights up and lets you know exactly what's on the inside of the refrigerator without actually opening the door. All right, so this is a spacious um, counter depth refrigerator, like I said, with instant view. Um, refrigerator here made by LG this portion of the video we're gonna focus on the functions and the features alright so we're just gonna let you know exactly what this refrigerator can do alright don't forget like share and subscribe to the channel man when you watch these videos we're gonna break this down like no like none other alright so just bear with us as we continue to review these appliances let's rock let's get it let's roll all right, so one of the things I like about it, of course, is the counter depth. So it's going to compare just your standard counter depth with the LG counter depth. All right, it's going to sit in a little bit more flush in comparison to when you have a built-in cabinet or built-in area that your refrigerator gets in. It's going to it's going to fit in there a lot smoother. Um, also, it's supposed to have a lot more space on the inside of the LG um, counter depth refrigerator. Um, Twenty six is the max, of course, but you can see from the image. It's a lot bigger, you get a little more space um, that you can put more of your stuff and food in on the inside of the refrigerator. All right, so that's me, of course, at the local store, banging on the InstaView. And this is how it looks. Of course, it is a bottom freezer at the bottom, and then you have the suicide doors, which is the French door. You have your dispenser that you can see there as well. You can get ice cubed or water. A built-in style, full-size capacity. And this is just the interior of it. It's just telling you that it's real spacious than ever big really really big appliance man so we're going to start off right here with the air um filter all right so let me go inside the owner's manual man so you guys will be able to check this stuff out and know exactly what you're looking at all right so all right so you can see where it says you can turn it to open um you can turn it to the the left to open the right to close um so it can be a little bit difficult one of the things that i notice about these type of air filters made by LG. Um, when you, if you're an older customer or older buyer of this appliance, I've had a customer that was older and up in age, and it was difficult for them to to really try to twist it without attempting to break it. Um, it was of course under warranty when we went out to the, um, to check out the appliance and we repair the air filter or replace the air filter form, and then of course we snap it back. It can be somewhat difficult, man. So you just want to be careful in how you do it. Um, you might want to get some practice in, um, changing it every six months or whenever the refrigerator reminds you to do so. But it's very important to do it because it's very essential in how your appliance operate and everything else. All right, so not much to it, man. Again, it's inside the owner's manual. Remove the filter inside of the cover by pressing the side of the filter in and pulling the center out. All right, so, and this is how it really looks when it says place the new filter inside of the cover with the side that says front facing outward all right so you can find the stuff in the owner's manual um not difficult to do um but like i said just take your time and do it man it's um it can be done all right so let's rock let's see how big the inside of the unit is we're going to talk about here um you have different shelves and pantries that you can use here um as well um so we can look at the shelves inside of this unit um, really slick, really nice, the way that it comes out, really smooth. Um, you can put some stuff, some real big stuff inside of there. Um, this is here is your folding shelf. All right, it's a spill protection as well, so it should be easier for it to clean. It's not a difficult thing to do. But when you're um, using this particular appliance to make some room, if you have bigger bottles like orange juices, if you got wine, stuff like that, you can actually slide the shelf back, and that can give you some room. In, in, in space so that you can put more stuff in and that's one of the things that I like about this folding shelf but you can look on the inside it's really big really big um, glass stainless steel in the back with the back panel again I've noticed that it's um, coming up where a lot of manufacturers are starting to do the stainless steel back because it helps the um, hold the temperature inside of the refrigerator a lot better in comparison to the plastic all right, because it's metal, so it should be colder. You got the uh, metal shelves, the stainless steel shelves as well, glass shelves. All right, so I'm sure that's going to cost you some bread or something, but you can see on the inside of it, it's really big, really spacious, 
um, really really like as far as the room and the stuff that you can put in there and that's normally a lot of the, the importance of buying a refrigerator is checking out how big it is on the inside because you want to put more stuff in depending on um, the size of your family um, that you have and the stuff that you really want to put in there it's really spacious I really really like it all right so let's check out different portions of it let's get into this manual a little bit more as well we're gonna talk about the pantry it slides out and the thing about the pantry, you can um, select different temperature settings as well. Meat, deli, produce um, for the pantry. So we're going to get into that. All right. Um, so let's get into the owner's manual and see what it says about it. Alright, so we talked about using the folding shelves. It says this feature is only available on some models, but on this particular model it is available, so you do have it. It says store uh, taller items such as gallon, container, or bottles by pushing the front half of the shelf underneath back half to the shelf. Pull the front shelf forward to return to a full shelf. Alright, so we talked about the pantry. Press the button to choose between produce, which is cold, deli, colder, and meat, coldest. Alright. Um, it says do not place any items on the side on the glide and serve cover so you just want to be careful with that that you don't damage it but like i said it comes out real smooth real nice as you can see in the video again you can check that out it says to remove the glide and surf pull out the drawer until it stops lift the front up and pull straight out that's what that is it says to assemble slightly tilt up the front insert the drawer into the frame and push it back into space all right, and this of course is the refrigerator shelves and this is how you really operate and move the shelves if you want to switch it around you want to bring it down a little bit more if you want it to be a lot taller to give you more space you have different hooks that you can hook on the inside of here but you want to make sure that those hooks are supported and it's on the inside of it right and you sometimes you want to use your weight to make sure that it's in there properly and it's not falling down um, so you want to be able to do that you can remove the shelves and adjust it however you would like Alright, so that's some of the good things you can say about this refrigerator, alright? Alright, so let's go. See what else. So now we have the control panel, right? Um, different options. You have your refrigerator, water filter, freezer, air filter, smart grid, Wi-Fi, ice plus, indoor, indoor iced, craft ice. You got your mini cube ice, uh, self-care and lock. And of course, if you hold certain buttons for a period of time, might maybe about three to five minutes, um, or three to five seconds, I'm sorry, and that could either lock um, the actual control panel that it doesn't operate. If you like kids like pressing the buttons, it would not press any buttons and it wouldn't change the function settings. You also have the Wi-Fi. If you press a certain button or hold it for three seconds, you can reset your air filter, you can reset your water filter. So it's multiple things that you can look for when you're looking at the control panel and it tells you exactly how to operate it. All right, so we can go inside the owner's manual so you can actually see that a little bit more. Uh, and as we discussed, um, the control panel and everything else so let's get into that so here we go all right so the one that you have here is type a that has a refrigerator water filter hold for three seconds freezer air filter smart grid wi-fi so all these functions depend on the model that you got so the model that we have is type a so the one that we have is fully loaded with different um, craft ice and cube mini ice so you'll be able to see that when we get into the freezer portion of the refrigerator all right so it says the indicator indicates the set temperature of the refrigerator compartment. You got Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, we typically deal with Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit in America. So we're talking about a refrigerator temperature should be at least 37 degrees Fahrenheit. And for your refrigerator, that's the refrigerator temperature. And typically for your freezer, it's zero. All right. So you put it on zero. I know customers that had it on negative one, negative two, negative three. Um, that's okay too, but it does allow your compressor to run up that much more harder because you have it on a lower setting. Um, it's going to be a lot colder, but just be careful and mindful of that. The, um, the more negative you go, the colder the refrigerator is and the harder it has to work for the compressor. So it's capable of handling it, but like I said, zero is your standard refrigerator temperature. I'm sorry, your standard freezer temperature and your refrigerator temperature is 37. All right. So. But again, you can make whatever necessary adjustment you like by selecting the refrigerator or the freezer temperature. All right, so let's rock. Let's get it, man. Let's get into this review. 
All right, so you see me there pressing on the buttons, um, however you would like. Um, really good information, Ice Cube. Um, we can probably get into that a little bit more just to see what is recommended. Uh, water filter, it says replace the water filter. Um, when the replace filter icon is on, after replacing the water filter, press and hold the water filter button for three seconds to turn the icon light off. Replace the filter approximately every six months. Um, the air filter helps remove odors from the refrigerator as well. So you can use an air filter or you can use baking soda um, or you can buy different air filters to, to make sure that it takes away from the odor inside of the refrigerator. That does happen because again you have mixed different foods on the inside of it creating different smells. Um, sometimes you might spill something on there and you forgot to get it up so that can create an odor. Um, but again your refrigerator will remind you when that needs to be replaced. Um, you can also again replace the water filter. Um, it will, you can tell that it needs to be replaced because your refrigerator will tell you that it needs to be replaced. If not, then you can tell by your water how it tastes. You can tell by your ice. Um, the shape of the ice is, starts to change. It could be a lot smaller than what you're used to or it's not going to make ice or it's not going to dispense water. Alright, so those are a couple things that you can look for to let you know when you need to replace your refrigerator water filter. We suggest that you do it as um, often as you can every six months. I know that water filters are getting extremely expensive now, but it is better for you to replace it because you, um, you can damage the filter housing and then that would cause corrosion inside the filter housing and then of course you're going to need a new filter housing because the filter won't come out or when you try to remove it, you break the housing because it's not, it has not been replaced within six months. All right, so just keep that stuff in mind. All right, so we discussed the freezer temperature already. Fahrenheit is zero, Celsius is negative 18. The smart grid, it says press the smart grid button to turn the function on and off. All right, so it says when the function is on, the indicator illuminates. The function automatically turns on when the refrigerator is connected to the Wi-Fi network. The smart grid function is only available if your electric utility company supports the function. All right, so that's what it's all about. Um, smart grid, um, trying to help you save electricity um like i said it's a lot of this stuff that's happening um refrigerators are smarter than ever um so it's just another added feature that they have it is a smart refrigerator that comes with the wi-fi thinq app um you get notifications um it also shows to let you know um it says the wi-fi indicator shows the status of the refrigerator's network connection the indicator illuminates when the refrigerator is connected to the Wi-Fi, so it'll let you know that as well. So just press and hold the Wi-Fi button for three seconds to connect to the connect connect to the network. The indicator blinks while the connection is being made, and and then turns on once the connection is successfully made. You got your Ice Plus. It says the function increases both ice making and freezing uh, uh, capabilities. It says press the Ice Plus button to illuminate the icon and activate functions for 24 hours. The function automatically shuts off after 24 hours. All right, so increasing both eye making and freezing uh, capabilities. All right, so again, if you're having a big guess, if you want ice to be made fast, real quick, you can select, you can select the ice plus, and like I said, it increased the freezing capabilities of the refrigerator. There's a fan that circulates and allow it to freeze a lot faster as well. So that's some of the benefits of having this refrigerator. You can get ice really quick. All right, so. It's a lot of ice in this refrigerator, I can tell you that. All right, so let's keep going with this joint. All right, craft ice. It says uh, press the craft ice button repeatedly to select between the three ice, six ice, or off mods. It says after five seconds of idle time, the last mod will be saved and the display returned to normal. All right, so you can turn off the craft ice or you can turn it off or you can get three to six ice as well. You do have the cube mini ice and then you have cubed ice. It says press and hold the cube mini ice button for three seconds to turn on the cube mini ice maker on and off. And then you have the uh, cubed ice, press and hold the ice cube button for three seconds to turn the ice maker on and off. All right, um, so again, you have different forms of ice. Mini ice, cubed ice, craft ice. This refrigerator can make you three different type of ice. <laughs> so there's a lot going on there. Um, Self-care, um, plus it says your UV light is used to keep the water outlet clean. The UV clean functions run automatically for 10 minutes every hour or can be manually activated at any time. Press and hold this button for three seconds to activate it manually. All right, so your refrigerator can clean the outlet as far as uh, where the water is on its own automatically every 10 minutes. 
or it you can do it manually self-explanatory your refrigerator can clean itself yeah all right couple notes that you can see there during operation the function stops if the water button is pressed it resumes automatically after one hour so the functions run automatically for 10 minutes every hour without requiring you to press the self-care button it says a UV nano is, is a compound word derived from the words UV and its unit, a nanometer. All right, so we got the lock. This is something easy. You press it, it locks the functions. You try to press the buttons, it would not work. You hold it for another three to seconds to deactivate it. All right, that's pretty straightforward and simple. All right, so let's get into this video um, again. All right, so let's this video rock real quick. Like I said, pressing all the buttons, and then of course you got your shelving, right? That's one of the things I like. You got different um, shelving. You got they're big enough for you to put some decent stuff in, and again, it has the InstaView door that you don't have to open the whole entire refrigerator in order to get anything out. Because every time you open that refrigerator door, it takes away from the temperature inside. You're losing um, the coldness on the inside of the refrigerator every time you open the door. So you want to make sure you keep it closed as often as you can. It's best for the refrigerator. All right. So again, back here, you have your water filter housing. All right. So this is where you put in your water filter. You remove the shelf, um, put your filter in. Um, we can look at that a little bit just to see. Um, again, it's just a water filter, man. So it's nothing special, but I'll at least like to show you that it's in the owner's manual so that you'll be able to, um, you know, replace the filter if you need be. A little maintenance stuff that you can do you can say replace the filter here um, that's page 46 replacing the water filter and it tells you again we've been over it several times already every six months um, and there's an indicator lights up to let you know a um, couple things that you can do well one thing you need to do of course when you replace your water filter you want to make sure that you fill up about three or four cups of water after you insert the new water filter at times it might stop Seem like it's not working as you're doing the process of purging the water. Um, it might um, stutter a little bit, like and stop, go, stop and go. But you want to fill up about three or four cups so that whatever air in the, is inside the refrigerator water line, that the new filter pushes everything out. So whatever sentiments, it might even look dark, it might look unclean. Um, yes, because that filter that you had didn't need to be replaced and it's getting older. So it's not really doing its job because it needs to be replaced. So you put a new filter in and it pushes everything out. Once you notice that the water is clear, then you're good to go. All right. So like I said, I would normally say about three to four cups to do so. All right. So, so that's cool. Replacing that filter there. Not much. That's the housing. So, and then you just slide it back on and you're good to go. All this is in the owner's manual as well. So that's where we're at. Again, this is your ice maker, indoor ice maker. Like I said, I really like the indoor ice makers because... It allows you to have more space, but at the same time, they are a pain in the butt because they do go bad a lot. Um, and that's just for any ice maker in general. Um, ice makers are not a, they're not durable. It's a lot of plastic. The motor is not as strong. So turning and twisting and bending, eventually sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes the motor breaks and boom, that's where you at. All right, so that's your auger, your dispenser and everything that's inside of there. You can take that out. Just remove that slowly. There go your... Um, your auger motor and everything else to turn it so that you can get cubed ice um, and everything else whatever type of ice you need this is where we go to the UV cleaner um, this is your dispenser that allows you to get um, water and everything else on the inside of it you can see the different functions right you got your water you got your cube you got your crushed ice um, that's also in the owner's manual as well um, as far as what we got going on um, so I'm just going to show you guys that a little bit on page 29 here 29 and 30 here we go it says using the ice and water dispenser press the icon for this uh, desired dispenser mode the led over the selected icon turns on it says press the dispenser panel with a glass or water container to dispense cubed ice or 
um, water or crushed ice. All right, so again, it's pretty simple. The way that I pressed it when I was in the store, it does respond just as similar to your cell phone. So your cell phone, cell phone, extremely sensitive as far as the screen, and you know, it's sensitive to the touch. Is the same thing that is happening with a lot of these appliances. Is the same thing that's happening to the water dispenser as well. Um, as you press it, it responds pretty easily. All right, so that's one of the things that we really like about it. All right, so. We can let that roll again, the dispenser, man. You can look at all this stuff inside the owner's manual. You can also lock, it says locking the ice and water dispenser. Again, you can lock this stuff if you have pets. I remember I told this story before. Um, a customer had an issue where there was always water on the floor. They didn't know what was going on. The technician came out and couldn't find out what was wrong. Come to find out it was the dog that was pressing on the dispenser and just getting water out of there and just trying to drink the water and um you know it was always water on the floor but they never knew how it got there but so sometimes that can happen so you might have to lock it if you have any pets that like doing stuff like that or you have kids that like pressing on buttons um you can also lock that as well so it says press and hold the lock button for three seconds to lock the dispenser and all the control panel functions follow the same instructions to unlock all right so it's the same exact thing and we talked about the ice maker opening the door is just a lever you press it pull it open and close um, it's not a difficult thing to do. Real simple, real easy, and make sure that it's closed back. You want to make sure that you put that um, the ice container or the ice bucket back in properly. If it's not in properly, then the door won't close. You want to make sure that door is also sealed, just like any other door. Um, any water or moisture get inside of it, it affects the component and cause the refrigerator not to um, um, it build up with a lot of ice, right? And you know you don't really want that to happen. All right, so let's rock. See what we got, man. All right, so you got the mullion. Make sure the door is closing properly. Um, again, really good. This is your inside of the freezer compartment. We really like this appliance. Um, like I said before, extra space, bulky. They have the bottom lever there. As you can see, it's pushing down on it and it pushes it out. We really like that. Um, so at the bottom of inside the freezer, you can see you can put some stuff on the inside of here, man. You have plenty of options to choose from. You got your craft ice, and that's how the craft ice look, looking like huge balls. And then you have your quick mini chilled ice. So you can make real small ice, craft ice, regular ice. You have three different ice on here. And then, of course, you can use the Ice Plus feature. So like I said before, it's an amazing appliance with a lot of features. People love ice. I'm not a big fan of ice. I don't really use ice like that, but I do understand that once you get it, it's almost like one of those things that you love to have. Um, especially, like I said, if you're having a dinner party and you need ice, this machine will give you three different levels of ice. So you can stack up on ice. And then, of course, using the fast, the ice plus feature. All right, so that's the inside. You have different ice maker inside of that as well. All right, so um, really like it. It's really spacious in there. You can put some stuff in there as well. Really deep on the inside of it. Um, so it does give you some options, man, and that's one of the things we really like about this LG appliance. Um, we're coming to the end of this joint, man. As you can see, the LG French door refrigerator with the InstaView built-in full-size capacity. Um, man, you already know I'm your boy, Richie Rich. We're talking about the functions and the features. You already know what we do, man. If you you help me, I help you. We both help each other. Till next time, I'm out of here. Functions and the features. Peace.